Today we're going to do the brand new Chop Shop Salvage Yard McTony Robbery, better known as the Submarine Robbery. I'm going to show you everything that I wish I would have done, but I did not do because I played this live and my God, it was horrendous. But lucky for you, with the power of editing and all that other good jazz, I'm going to give you a very short tutorial, make you get the elite challenge, make you a master in GTA 5 online. Let's get to it. Get your McTony robbery, go to your computer in your chop shop. You're going to want to go to Fathom and scope out the submarine. I wish I would have took my MK2 and just landed it on the submarine and then take my three pictures and get out of there. But instead, I went over to this dinghy. If you do take the dinghy, pull it up to your submarine, jump out, run on this submarine. Easiest way to get pictures. Run all the way up to the submarine and just cut right across. Then you can get your pictures and you can get out of there. For Tony Submersible, all you gotta do is go to Ellison Island and take out the whole security team. As you can tell, I was very successful here. Climb all the way up here so you can access the switch to drop the submarine into the water. How you doing, sir? Now at 5 in the morning, this was a good idea. I thought I was going to jump into the water and just dive right on in. Apparently that was not the case. Once you get in the submarine, bring it to the yellow Corona. After I did that, I decided I was going to get some of those duffel bag missions out of the way while doing this, where I got to go get the cutting torch. Your cutting torch might be in a different location, but this is where mine was. Your sonar equipment, go to Alboro Heights and then break into the warehouse. From here, you're going to kill everybody and then just open up all the crates. The last crate for me had the sonar equipment, so I'm not sure if this will be the actual crate or if that's how it works with all of them. You might have to open up all of them. I, I have no idea, but for me, it was the last one. All right, we're going to do another duffel bag mission where we're going to have to get the security outfits. Go to this location over here. For me, the security outfits were over here. They might be in a different location for you as well. Bring it back to the chop shop and get on with your merry way. All right, we're going to do the last duffel bag where we got to go get a mask. I would highly recommend getting a mask because what I realize, if you don't get them, you get five star one a level. But if you get a mask, you only get a four star wanted level. So not too shabby. I would definitely pick up a mask. And doing these robberies. We're gonna do the optional disrupt weapons. I always do the optional when it comes to these robberies. Let me know in the comments. Do you do the optional? Does it matter? Does it not matter? Just let me know. I'm kind of curious. I always do the optional. All you gotta do is go and break into the shop over here. Kill everybody and then blow up all these crates over here. I thought for sure I was going to die with that one. Once you do that, go to this sweet computer and access the codes. Then like dug in shipments, all you got to do is go to the locations, blow up the targets, and you're good to go. you did all the planning and all the work finally the mctony finale this you're gonna want to watch because i'm gonna save you a boatload of time and you're probably gonna get the elite challenge if you do what i tell you right away when you get into the mctony robbery you get this outfit right here uh, you gotta fly or any way you want to get there you gotta go to Polito cove it's about a six mile run, so it's not that exciting. Jump into the submarine over here. When it says board Tony's submarine via the moon pool, you're gonna wanna go under the submarine and go towards the back of the submarine. And it's gonna launch you into the thing. Right about here, you're gonna wanna go. Just keep riding until it 
does the cutscene where it lets you into the submarine. Right there, it says board the submarine. That one can be tricky. Sometimes it doesn't do that right away, so have a little bit of patience when it comes to that. One thing I wish I would have known was to use a shotgun in the beginning. This would have been a lot easier. And I probably would have got the elite challenge because you can see with the shotgun, one shot blows out the computer, one shot does the headshot. You need to not die during the finale to get the elite and 15 headshots to get the elite. After you do those things, you got one minute to locate Tony's head of security, which is in the kitchen, and that will complete your elite challenge. Running to the other side of the submarine, you're gonna walk in, you're gonna see Tony's head of security. This man eats shotgun shells to the face like a champion. About four of them will knock him down. Now you gotta go search the body for the control codes. From there, you're gonna want to go and enter the bridge and then go over here and insert the control codes. You're gonna take control of Tony's submarine. Probably the coolest cutscene in the entire robbery. I don't know why I like it, but I think it's pretty sweet. Let me know what you think in the comments. Once you beach the submarine, you're gonna want to go to the moon pool, get in the fathom, raise it up, and exit the submarine. Once you do that, you're gonna have all the police on you, helicopters on you. Now, this is one thing I wish I would have known. Once you get into a safe location where the cops aren't really by you, call your Sparrow, because it will launch right next to you, and just drive your Sparrow until you lose the police. The vehicle will not disappear. Nothing will happen to the vehicle. Once you lost your wanted level, run back to the car and drive it to the chop shop. Here is all the money I made. Here is the elite challenge. Let me know in the comments if this helped you guys out. Let me know if you want me to make more guides on these robberies. I'm Jack Knight Finnegan. Subscribe, like, and comment for more GTA 5 online content.